Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. This next video is something several people asked about, and that is cutting a concave radius in the face of the part. There is a trick to getting the machine to perform this operation, so please watch this video all the way to the end. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, here's our sketch of what we're going to be doing. We have a piece of aluminum that's 3.25 inches in diameter and we're going to cut a 3 inch radius on the face of the part. So let's get started programming it. So we're going to push the left button, go to program, program file. We're going to select a work number that's not listed up here. I'm going to select work number 50. So go to program, push work number, work piece number 50, input. If this is a new program, push the program button. Mazatrol or EIA, we're going with Mazatrol. And we're working with aluminum. Max outside diameter of work piece is 3.25. Inside diameter is zero. Work piece length is going to be six inches long. Max spindle limit, I'm going to set the G50 at 2000 RPM for this program. Finish allowance on X is going to be 10 thousandths. And finish allowance on Z is 5 thousandths. And stock removal of work face is going to be zero because the part is already faced off. So push the down arrow. Three arrows here. M code and coolant on, down arrow. Now we're going to start programming this contour. In order for the tool to go all the way down to the center line with no hole in the part, you would think that this would be programmed as a bar face operation, but in this machine that will not work. This actually has to be programmed as a copy in in order to get the tool to run all the way down to the center line. So that's the method we're going to use. So we're going to use the copy motion and then on the inside and then the cutting point on X is going to be zero from the center line Cutting point on Z is the face of the part, which is also zero. Stock removal on X, we need to have the stock removal equal to or greater than the finish allowance. So I'm going to put in 10 thousandths there, and then stock removal of Z. If you notice, from the face of the part down to the bottom of that radius, we have 400 thousandths deep. So that's what we're going to put in as our stock removal on the Z face, is 400 thousandths. Uh, surface speed for rough cut, we can just hit auto. And roughing tool number, we're going to use tool 10. Offset one, tool 10, offset one. So let's go look at tool 10 So tool 10 is a general in, basically a boring bar, 95 thou, 95 degree, 80 degree cutting angle. So this is our part, and this is the tool shape that I'm going to use to cut this geometry. So I'm describing this tool as a bar in, as a boring bar, and I'm going to probe it on the ID face and the front of the part. So whenever you're doing a copy in or a bar in or anything like that, the tool has to be described as a boring bar and you must probe it as a boring bar. 
even though this tool could be probed as a face grooving tool, we're going to tell the machine that it's an ID tool. And that's very important when we're doing this feature. So this is the tool that we're going to use and it's going to make sweeping motions like that when it's cutting. It's not just going to plunge in and cut. This tool is programmed using a copy in and it's going to be generating a shape which looks like that. All right, let's go to the tool data and arrow down to tool 10. So it's a one inch diameter tool, but the most important part is getting the nose radius correct. This is a half inch diameter button and it has a 250 radius on this tool. And it's also going to be cutting on the left hand side so we have the chuck going backwards and it shows the left handed tool. Alright, let's go back to the program. So first thing we need to do is pick a shape that looks like the concave radius. So this symbol is for the concave radius. Starting corner, I can put a small radius right here to break that edge so it's not sharp. Or I can leave it blank to have a sharp corner. So that's what the starting corner on this process is going to look like is if it has a radius here or a chamfer but we're just going to leave it blank. So starting point on X, it's not defined on the print, so we're going to put a question mark in there. Starting point on Z is the face of the part. Final point on X is going to be the center line of the part, which is X0. And the final point on Z is going to be 400 thousandths into the part. And then it's asking us, what is the radius? So the radius is three inches. And I'm going to leave the surface roughness at zero, so it roughs and finishes the geometry at five thousandths feed rate. I do not want to put a number seven in here because that will run the feed rate really fast because how large the radius is on the tool. So when you're doing real big radiuses, just leave this area blank on the older control. I cannot specify a feed rate on a finish pass like I can on the newer machines. So now what we need to do in order to calculate this intersect point, we need to come in here and put center, arc center X right here is on the X center line, so that's zero and arc center Z. So from the face of the part to that three inch radius is going to be 2.6 inches in the negative direction. So everything over here is assumed is positive and everything over here is negative. So what we need to do is tell it arc center Z is negative 2.6. And then the intersect position of the start point from where this circle lands on this horizontal line, we're going to select the left arrow because that's where the intersect position is at. So left arrow, intersect position of final point, we have a number in there so we don't need to put anything in there. So what we do is push the right button and push calculate. And now we've calculated our X starting position at 2.9933. So then we'll push the down arrow, push shape end, and end. So now let's go look at that geometry. So push the right button, go figure check, and then there's our shape that looks like our part. 
So let's zoom this up. So stay score, scale, move the cursors over, and then we'll type in a number that's smaller than 1.8. So let's go uh, 1.0. And there's our shape of the part. So now what we can do is go to the toolpath check screen. So go program, program check, and check continue. And we're done. So that's going to take 50,000 passes, and then it's going to take that 5,000 finish pass at the end. So at this point, we're done programming. So now let's put the workpiece in the machine and set the work shift with the tool. All right, let's set the work shift. And that's touching the face of the part. So now let's come in here to program, program file, arrow over to the Z offset teach and push Z zero input. And go to position, go to auto, go to work number 50, and we're at Z zero. So the tool is described as a boring bar. However, the tool geometry will not show this huge radius we have on the tool. So when this is cutting, it's gonna look like it's cutting into the part slightly. But for right now, we're ready to go and hit cycle start. So let's back it away from the machine. And let's hit cycle start. Auto, we did call up the work shift. Program 50, turn on the coolant, and let's hit cycle start. Oh.
And there's our finished workpiece with a radius cut in the face of it. If you guys like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. If you guys find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel and gets YouTube to share this video with more people. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching.